What's good, it's your boy, Coach Colin Castello, the CEO of Bucket Gideon and Professional Shooting Coach. And today, I'm gonna teach you the one must-have move that you gotta have if you wanna snatch ankles. So there's a lot of moves you can have that will get great results and break ankles. But this is the one move that I see over and over and over again that snaps ankles, gets defenders to fall and touch the ground. And so it's one that you gotta have your arsenal. It's got a lot of extra benefits that you're gonna wanna stick around so you can find out. So it is the behind the back snatch. Now it's basically a snatch back or a stop on a dime move, but you're gonna use it to actually kind of shield the ball from the defender and use their momentum against them. Now this move works great if the defender's up on you and they got a lot of space that they're kind of you know taking away. Maybe they're riding your hip on a drive. Generally speaking, the closer your defender is to you on this move, the better it's gonna work. Let me repeat. The closer your defender is to you on this move, the better it's gonna work. So, I always like to use it if I've got somebody right on my hip and I'm driving to the basket. Sometimes it's great if they're like a really athletic player. Now, basically, all we're gonna do is we're going to drive, and then at a certain point, we're going to plant with our front foot, same hand, same side of the ball, and we're going to snatch the ball backwards behind the back, right? So we're really working on change of speed, change of direction here. I'm going really hard one direction, and then I'm breaking it off, and going behind the back. Now this is great for a couple reasons. Number one, it's a quick change of pace, right? So the defender is there running with you and they're probably crossing their legs. As you snatch it back, they're gonna try to slow their momentum and a lot of times that's when you can get them to fall down, right? The other thing that's really nice is if they're crowding you, your body actually protects the basketball. So as I come through here and I plant, if I got a defender right here on my hip and he's reaching for the ball, I can keep the ball safe and he actually stays in front of me. So that's the other reason why I really love this move because even if you don't break their ankles and they read it right and they stay with you, no problem, you can always just retreat and dribble back out of it, right? So it's kind of a win-win, right? Now off of this, you've got a bunch of different options. That's what I love about this move so much. If I'm coming in and I hit this behind the back snatch back, I can pull up into a jumper if I got space. I can snatch, hezzy, push the same direction, right? If he recovers pretty well on it. I can do the exact same thing, come through, I can snatch, hezzy, and then go the opposite direction, right? Now we can start throwing all sorts of sick combo moves on it. If I come up here and I hit the snatch and then I fake this drive and cross over backwards, oh lordy, you're gonna send people flying, right? That's why this move's so good. Not only is it great to break uncles by itself, but it sets up so many options out of it, you've got to master it. All right, now because you watched this video long enough, I know you wanna get better, right? So hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, ding the bell, all that sort of jazz. But I'm gonna give you a free copy of my Insta Buckets workout. This is my signature workout I put together that in five minutes is gonna help you score more points in game because it's so powerful and it's some of my best drills. So all I gotta do, click the top link in the description down below or the top pinned comment underneath that and get free access today. Again, I'm Coach Colin Castello with Shot on Canics Basketball. Thanks for watching. Splash on. Hup! Buckets! Hey-oh!